Okay, so AOPG finally updated, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that was added in the Summer Update Part 2. Before I start this video, I'd like to kindly ask, uh, could you check to make sure you're subscribed? Uh, subscriptions help a lot and they're free. With that enough, for the first thing, we have the brand new island, which is the Summer Island. Now this island looks really good, it's a nice big island, it's very spread out, uh, they cooked on this. As you can see, uh, the stuff from the sneaks, we have like this water thing here, uh, and the huge beach. So the next thing I'm going to be going over is this new raid in the game, this is the Summer Raid, and each wave has a chance to drop gems xp and belly and you can also get the summer outfits which is basically the melee summer outfit the sword one and i think the fruit one which is the luffy one so i'm just going to do this raid for a little bit until i get the fruit one and then i'll show you what they all look like Okay, so this is the raid. There's basically five waves and each wave you fight one boss. Um, it's not that difficult. It's a pretty easy raid um, I'm just going to be using the best sword setup for this. Oh, yeah, wait, let me do this one. Okay, gaming I don't know why I can't hit Robux, but um, basically there's just a bunch of waves, uh, you fight bosses and you get like gems, belly um, and XP from them, you can also get stuff like um, item chests and event chests from this, um, and you also get the uh, Kalima scroll which is used for the mode on Kalima attacked, which I'll be going over in a minute, so I'll show you what this uh, looks like, I just need to put my buffs on, um, the final boss which is Luffy apparently has 100 billion HP, which really isn't that much, so I'll show you what looks like so like i said there's just a bunch of bosses um there's not really much to it you just keep killing them and you will start getting items from this you also get stuff like the outfits like i said there's three different outfits there's the fruit melee and sword one but zoro sanji and luffy but it, it really isn't that difficult of a raid um there was a bug off, uh, after wave two where no npcs would spawn but i think they fixed that now you should be okay to afk this as you can see, Luffy's very tanky, uh, but they don't really do that much damage. Okay, Luffy's almost dead. I mean, it doesn't really take that long. It's like a two minute raid. There we go. Uh, and then if you do complete it, you will get stuff like event chests and item chests. So that's the raid. Next, we're going to move on to the next thing that was added in this update. And that is actually the uh, clean attacks on Nami fighting style. So I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So here it is. Uh, let me just turn off uh, Haki just so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So here it is. We have the M1s, which are pretty basic M1s. Then we have Zeus Rush. Basically just big AoE goes in front of you. Then we have Thunderbolt Tempo, which is the E move. And it's a ranged move. It looks like it's a mount, uh, mouse pointer move. Then we have a Thunder Lance Tempo which it kind of just goes up into the air and rains thunder again. Then we have Lightning Madness, which is a huge AoE move around here. Then we have a movement move, which is Zeus Flight. This looks really sick. Uh, it's like Avatar vibes. Um, and then we have the Ultimate, I believe, which is uh, the Ninpo Lightning Blast, which is a, a sort of a ranged AoE uh, move. And then we have the mode, which is uh, Weather Eggs, which I'll put the buffs on screen right now. Uh, it doesn't unlock a new move or anything, but it gives you buffs. Uh, I have heard, though, that the Sukuna buff is still better than the uh, Clean Attack buff. So, if you're wondering which one of those is better, Sukuna is better for the buffs. And I'm assuming uh, Clean Attack is better for the uh, actual damage. So, you get this by spinning on the Event Shop, which is the Lifeguard NPC. It's a 5% chance every spin. And then you can get the scroll from the raid for the Weather Eggs mode. So, it isn't that hard to obtain. So we're going to move on to the merchant now, so I need to quickly go back into the main game. Okay, so now that we're back in the main game, I'll quickly show you the little NPC shop. Now this just got buff, uh, nerfed, I mean. Um, the rates were insane before. It was like 75% for a Poneglyph, uh, and it was only 40, but now it's 70 and 40. So the, chain, the, the uh, percentages have changed, but the Karoo mount is now 5% instead of 0.2%, so that's pretty good. So here's the stuff that you can get from here. You can get the base mode of Clean Attacked. The Karoo Mount, Artifact Chest, Item Chest, Accessory Chest, and Poneglyphs. So I'll show you what the mount looks like as well. Um, I have it myself, but here it is. We have the Karoo Mount. It looks really sick. I can't lie. Look at him. Uh, and someone said that it walks on water, but it doesn't. But yeah, this is what the mount looks like. It's actually pretty quick. I think it's around about the same speed as Ice Bike. Uh, but yeah, look how sick it looks, man. Look at Karoo. But yeah, that's the mount. Okay, so there actually are a couple of uh, codes that came with this update, so I'm just going to quickly show you what they look like. So the first code we have is NAMI UPDATE. Now I've already claimed this, but this is one Poneglyph. So the next code after that 
is Boss Studios Nami, and this one gives an hour of double XP. Now, I do get a lot of comments asking how to watch the redeem codes. Uh, some people don't see this channel verified thing, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to actually get that to work. So first of all, you want to go into YouTube, you want to go into settings uh, right here. And then what you want to do is you want to click on view advanced settings and then you'll see user ID and channel ID. The one that you want to copy is the channel ID. So you'll copy this and then you'll put it into the box that's right here and then it will it'll um, verify it. Another thing that you need to do is you need to click on privacy and you need to disable keep all my subscriptions private. If this is private, then uh, the bot or whatever that actually goes through and tries to find out. Um, if you're subscribed or not, will not be able to because your subscriptions are private. So if you turn this off, quickly uh, put your channel ID into the thing and then you can turn it back on if you want. A channel that you need to subscribe to is Brandon Ha, which is uh, this channel, not, the <laughs> not this channel. Um, I can't find his channel, but I think it's Brandon Ha, the boss. It's this one right here, the boss Brandon. You want to subscribe to this channel, make sure your subscriptions are public um, and then you will be able to verify your channel. Now, this only works around about half, this, like half the time that you try it. So if it doesn't work for you, try a different channel, uh, try later. Another thing is we are currently hosting a two times vamp giveaway on my Discord server right here. If you'd like to enter this giveaway, join the Discord server in the description. Go to this sub channel right here, post a picture of you subscribed. We'll give you the uh, sub draw, which is this one right here. And then you'll be able to see the giveaway channel and you'll be able to enter the giveaway. Next, we're going to move on to the summer outfits. So we have the one first. So I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, and this is the Nami one. I'll put a picture of what it looks like uh, just on its own without the avatar. Um, and then we have the sword one, which is the Zoro one. It looks really sick. Uh, and these do give buffs in their respective category. I don't know what the buffs are, but these do stack on top of the suits. So you should be able to wear this and an egghead suit. Um, so stuff like for the fruit outfit, you can have the uh, red suit and the summer outfit even more buffs uh, i will put a picture of what the luffy one looks like which is the fruit outfit i don't have it right now but it's pretty self-explanatory what it is um and that's pretty much it for the update um i definitely recommend farming this for stuff like poneglyphs and artifact chests uh, as you can see i've gotten a bunch of chests from this one update a bunch of artifact chests and event chests which if you don't know what they are i believe they give the event swords so i'm just going to open a bunch of these up anniversary blade Beheader, Anniversary Bay, Frostbite Fury, which I think is the sword that I wanted. Yeah, so this is the this is the Christmas sword that was added to the game ages ago. Look at it, it looks sick. Um, I haven't, I never got this when it first was added to the game, so we actually have it now. I mean, the animations are a bit buggy, but look at it, man. But yeah, that's everything in the summer update. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, I will be farming this update for more Poneglyphs, so hopefully we'll get to that gem cut pretty soon. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments, and yeah, goodbye.